Buzzer Festival right now, and uh, they're getting ready for their opening ceremonies. Good morning. All right, good morning, and welcome to the 29th Annual Buford Buzzer Festival. We're so glad to have you here today, and we hope this lovely weather holds out just long enough to get us through the festivities of the day. the audience. I see new friends I've met this week, some I met this morning, some that I've got to know for years that are here to support us and I appreciate it so much. June 15, 2016, cause of death, automobile crash. He was responding to a domestic violence situation. It took two hours to extricate the deputy sheriff. We've got 20-something awards that he has been given. At this time, it is my privilege and honor to announce to you our local law enforcement officer of the year from Savannah, Tennessee, Mr. Terry Hose. The award says the 2017 Buford Pusser Local Law Enforcement Officer of the Year Award is presented to, to Terry Hosey, Savannah, Tennessee Police Department, for your 30 years of continued service protecting and the citizens and the respect earned from your fellow officers. They were asked in a poll, the fellow officers, if they had to have backup, who did they want? And they all were unanimous. If they had to have backup, they wanted Terry Hosey to be their backup. Thank you so much. At this time, I'd like to introduce to y'all and present our National Law Enforcement Officer of the Year, the Sheriff Keith Kane. It says the 2017 Buford Pusser National Law Enforcement Officer of the Year presented to Sheriff Keith R. Kane of Davis County, Kentucky grateful recognition for your demonstration of courage and support to our nation's law enforcement community as a sheriff who stays true to your oath, your badge, and to the people you serve and protect while promoting your vision of law and order and all that lives lives that matter. Thank you so very much for coming and accepting this award. So now we're going to 
now we've left the, the main opening ceremonies. We're headed out to uh, check out some of these cars at the car show. <laughs> but the weather's been nice. There's a breeze blowing, so it's not so hot. Perfect day to be out enjoying the festival. And, uh, yeah, we gotta get some heat. All right, so we don't get to do this very often. Um, run the studio right quick to grab a camera. So we got some storms that are coming through right now that are actually very electrical. And uh, you see by the radar here on the dash of the car, uh, the lightning data, they're just dropping tons and tons of lightning right now. Uh, storms seem to be headed from Bethel Springs to Savannah, Tennessee. So what we're going to do right now is go grab a camera and then uh, catch up to them. Alright, so we've been trying to get in position for a little while. Um, it seems to be in some areas where the lightning is really good. It's just really inundated with rain. Um, really, really heavy rain, and uh, one area in downtown where he might have had some uh, some small hail, but um, just trying to find uh, a way to come up behind these storms uh, where we're not just completely inundated with rain and, and get an angle for uh, for the lightning, but uh, not having any luck just yet. We're not giving up yet either. I really don't know if this is showing just how much water is flowing over the roads right now. It's insane. Try to roll down my window where we can actually see some more of it. Oh, no way. I'm getting some. <laughs> Alright, so um, we had our trusty lightning detector with us today, which you can't see because it's so dark in this car. As you can tell by the noise, if we're sitting here in the driveway um, about to go in and it just is just coming a flood. But our, um, our trusty lightning detector here. Uh, it's detected 82 lightning strikes um, during the storm, which trust me, there have been a lot more. Uh, there have been several strikes that it's not been able to detect. Uh, this latest one, as we were debating on getting out of the car, uh, was less than a mile away from us. So uh, it made us a bit nervous about getting out of the car. 